Who are you? Please present yourself. Well, my name is Jostein Gardner. I'm the author of Sophie's World, The Solitary Mystery, The Ring Master's Daughter, and many, many other books translated into English. Please tell us about your new novel, Anna. Well, uh, the title is Anna, or, and with the subtitle the, the World According to Anna. Uh, and again, it's a young girl, it's a teenager, 15 years old, and uh, she's concerned very much about her existence and the future of our planet, actually. You know, uh, I wouldn't at all compare uh, Anna and you now to Sophie's World, uh, definitely not, they're completely different, but they have one thing in common, and that is that there are two uh, young uh, girls, or young women, you might say, young adults, who, uh, who are trying to really perceive and understand uh, uh, the world that they exist in. And, and well, in, in both books, the heroines, uh, you know, Sophie and Anna, they, uh, they discover that there are some weaknesses, there is something wrong in, in, in my world, you know. Now, uh, in Anna, uh, we, we meet a young girl who has this strange ability to have clear visions, uh, you know, imaginations about the future. Like when she's dreaming, she has very vivid dreams, you know, uh, and she's more and more feeling that she's in a kind of contact with her great-granddaughter, living 70 years after her time, and they are even communicating, I mean, in, 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 uh, in these fantasy parts, you know. Uh, and, well, uh, Anna is not quite sure if she can really rely on these visions that uh, she's actually staying in contact with her own great-granddaughter. But, this great-granddaughter, she is accusing her and her generation for, for destroying uh, a part of the planet, you know. The habitats uh, and, and, you know, the living environment on the planet. So this is uh, treating her, 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 her engagement and she, uh, she's, uh, you know, uh, becoming kind of an activist uh, in trying to protect the uh, environment and also protect the atmosphere from being completely destroyed and polluted by, by our burning of carbon, you know, by carbon dioxide. Uh, what makes this book special to you? You know, uh, uh, often you, you, when you write, you write uh, as a kind of game, you know, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, also this time. But this time I would say that I am trying also to, to kind of write out of some kind of duty. I mean, I am myself very concerned about uh, uh, <coughs> the, 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 I mean, the greatest challenge ever for the humankind, namely, uh, our threats on, on the environment, especially the atmosphere, you know. Uh, and um, uh, the challenge then, this time, was to, to, to write about this uh, serious topic in a playful way, you know. Uh, so it's not a game for the game itself, it's a, it's a game uh, uh, to, uh, for, in the best way, trying to present uh, these questions a lot. All oh, young girls and boys are really deeply concerned about, but I think sometimes they lose um, words and language as tools, you know, in, in, in the fight to protect, uh, you know, Earth and Earth's climate. So actually, even one chapter in the in the story is called gamification, because it's like a program to to try to 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 uh, make fun out of something that may also be very serious. Do you have anything you want to say to your English readers? Uh, well, I, I, I am uh, hoping that uh, the English readers, and especially maybe young readers, will, will read this book and enjoy it as a, as a, good, as a piece of reading, you know? Uh, even, even though they are also presented for, for really, I mean, serious, uh, aspects of our civilization today, you know. Uh, by the way, I, I, uh, <clears throat> again I would say that uh, this book is not written for, for young adults only, you know, like my other books, like uh, the, uh, the Orange Girl or Sophie's World, I mean, I know that uh, these books are read by young adults, but also very much by adults. So, uh, 
I, I'm not sitting imagining young readers when I write my books, and not this time either, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, thinking about uh, readers in general, young and 